you can use any language and any name for praising the god the language is not important not only human beings but the whole nature praises that ultimate truth the solemn sound of the sea the delicate voice of sparrows different sounds of different animals all these are praising the god the above thoughts are expressed by a very radiant ascetic called acharya madhva he was born in a small village named patrak which was full of nature's beauty it is located near udupi on the west coast of karnataka his mother's name was vedavati and father's name was nadillai narayan bhat madhva was born on the auspicious day of vijayadashmi in the year 1238 ad his birth name was vasudev vasudev's parents along with vasudev went to a village where his brother lived there was some function at that time vasudev was just 3 years old it so happened that when everybody was engrossed in the function vasudev was not to be seen anywhere they searched for him but in vain somebody told his father that he saw a small boy near the koldpur mandir his father went there but couldn't find vasudev searching vasudev nadillai reached udupi he went to the temple of ananteshwar to his surprise he saw vasudev with folded hands in namaskar position tears of joy flowed down on the father's face he inquired oh vasudev how is it that you came alone so far away the small boy replied i was not alone initially i went to shankar narayan of koduvayaru from there i went to mahalingeshwar of bananje and then i came straight here and saw mahadev narayan in the form of this linga baba i was accompanied and guided by all these gods vasudev was sent to gurugraha after his thread ceremony was performed at the age of 7 vasudev became a student of the famous ved shastri totan tillai while guruji taught he used to sit before him but later he never recited like the other students he used to go and play on the ground at that time made be a running race or a swimming race vasudev was always ahead of others he defeated everyone in wrestling too one day his guru angrily asked him don't you think it is necessary to read again what has been taught to you without reading do you remember everything if so recite all the shlokas that i have taught you so far vasudev sat in a position of padmasana and recited everything as asked for the guru was very much pleased and hence vasudev was allowed to study and play as before madhvacharya preached that inventiveness can't be there in a weak body it is possible only where the body is strong and healthy he made physical exercise compulsory for his disciples once he was going to badri kedar with his disciples all of a sudden a group of thieves surrounded them from all sides naturally the disciples were afraid of thieves who carried axes in their hands however acharya madhva was smiling he called one of his disciples named upendra and shouted at him oh upendra you must have the strength to hold an axe as you are holding the staff of an ascetic confront them upendra tirtha got the courage with his acharya's words he came forward like a lightning he snatched an axe from the hands of a thief and assaulted him seeing the bravery and valor of an ascetic the wonderstruck thief fled away vasudev with his parents permission became an ascetic at the age of 12 and acquired a vedic name madhva he roamed across india to preach and spread his philosophy he educated many students by giving lectures he wrote 40 books like the gita bhashya brahma sutra nirupan for the next generation He inspired people to live a life of purushartha meaning manliness he inspired people to live a life having devotion to god his following teachings are very famous never forget your duty it is your real duty to serve those who are miserable than you you are the citizens of the god's kingdom and serving people is a tax you are paying this world is a wonderful creation of god realize his greatness be aware of the power you have and surrender to the greatest power of god acharya madhva praised god in various forms 
He faced many adversities while spreading his philosophy, but he did it with great courage. In the year 1319 AD, on Magashuddha Navami, he bid farewell to all and went in the north direction to Badri. He was never seen after that. Moral of the story: Never forget your duties. To serve people who are more miserable than you is your real duty.